All right, here we go now with our famous little Friday feature with Ariel Epstein. She's uh, the uh, the pick expert. Last week, she had a good Friday with us. She was 2-1. and one. Now, remember, she's got a futures bet uh, on the Astros winning and coming back and winning the American League West. Texas hurt that a little bit this week, but we'll worry about that at the end of the year. Two out of three. You'll take that odds every day you can. She has plenty of other picks. I want to chronicle what she does here on Friday. She's probably a little over 500. Here she is now. That was Yankee Stadium. Kansas City visits New York tonight. And the Yankees got to get a little something going. And uh, Ariel thinks offense tonight early in this game will not be frequent. Let's start with that play first, Ariel. Go ahead. What can you tell me? Great to see you, Mad Dog. Yeah, shocker. Offense going to be at a minimum for the New York Yankees, averaging about three runs a game since they lost their slugger, Aaron Judge. The Yankees' batting average is a 218 in that span since the first week of June. Don't see offense considering Kansas City's righty Alec Marsh is on the mound. He's had this fastball that's 94 miles an hour, yet the spin rate is in that 94th percentile. Even the Tampa Bay Rays were hitless against that against Marsh. Now the Yankees get their righty, Clark Schmidt, who owns a 2.83 ERA in his last 10 starts. His cutter has improved. If none of that intrigues you, the Yankees are the most profitable home team to bet first five unders on. You're up 11 units when the Yankees are home betting a first five under. The next bet is only up six units, and that's the Mets at home. Yankees first five unders are profitable. Go with that under a four and a half. That's a great job on your part. Well done. Good trend. Like it. Number two, Brexton Garrett. Lefty tonight for the Marlins. They need to get a little something going. They got the right team in, and you're going to say over K's in this game. Let me get your thoughts on that. Go ahead. Great value on the over five and a half strikeouts for the lefty out of Miami, Brexton Garrett. This is more about the Colorado Rockies lineup. Against lefties this year, they're top five in K-rate, averaging just below six strikeouts a game against lefty starters. Garrett has gone over five and a half Ks in four of the six games where he's faced a high K-rate team against lefties. And against these lefty starters, again, the repertoire, 23.3% K-rate for the Rockies, which is just outside the top 10. Over five and a half Ks around plus 110. Really good plus money value on Garrett. I like that. Well done. Well thought out there. Here's one. You like the the uh, Guardians pitcher, a young one who's got a lot of good stuff against the Phillies tonight. You're going to run with him with K's. Let me hear your thoughts on that. Go ahead. The Guardians rookie right-hander, and that's Gavin Williams to go over four and a half strikeouts. It's my Diamond K play of the day. Just because Williams, in order to hit this number, has to face about 20 batters. Yet he's averaging 24 batters a start. The Phillies, top 10 in K-rate against righties. Their 26% K-rate is the ninth highest in baseball against a repertoire like Williams. These starting pitchers are averaging five strikeouts a start against Phillies as well. Over four and a half strikeouts for Gavin Williams is my favorite strikeout prop tonight. And the uh, uh, Phillies did not hit against Milwaukee, so that may not be bad. And this is weird. The A's... Valdez pitches for the Astros tonight. The A's are coming up two nice wins against the Red Sox, which is rare indeed. You're going to take them early on the run line. How about that? Let me hear. I call this my fishy line of the day. It's when you see reverse line movement, meaning the line moves in favor of the team that the public's not on. In this case, the Athletics had the line move 10 cents in their favor overnight despite over 80% of action coming in on the Astros. Go figure. It's a little strange. It's just like the Kansas City Chiefs facing the Houston Texans. You wouldn't want to bet the Texans unless the line's moving in their favor. I see why. It's been the lefty for Oakland J.P. Sears, just bad luck. The Oakland offense is averaging a run less per game when he's on the mound. Yet Sears has been pretty good, 3-1-5 ERA. His last time out against Houston only allowed two runs, six innings pitched, seven strikeouts. First five plus one and a half Oakland, it means it's just a close first five. I don't trust the Athletics' bullpen at all. I'll go with the starters here. And Valdez, he's starting for Houston, as you mentioned, left to cramp in his uh, left calf the last time that he started a game. Maybe the books know something here. I'll go with the plus one and a half on the athletics in the first five innings. I like that. And well thought out, uh, Ariel. I like that. We will keep a tab. Let's go win some money for fans. Good to have you with us. Enjoy your weekend. Appreciate a few minutes here today. Enjoy your weekend, Mad Dog.